Here is our tail of the tape, 10 rounds, heavyweight division. Muhammad Rasul Majidov, 34 years old, a great amateur career, just turned pro at this late age, but he says he feels like he's 25, 3-0 with three knockouts. Andre Fedosov returning to the ring after a couple years absence. He says he's fit, ready to go, and confident that he can beat Majidov here in an upset. What does he have to do to do that, Chris? You know, Fedosov is the kind of guy, he comes right forward. He's got to come forward, throw some big shots. He needs to get respect from Majidov right away. Tonight, 10 rounds, heavyweight action, making his way first to the ring. From Russia, Andre Fedosov. Another ACDC Thunderstruck. I believe Yarsonov had that same song, but here comes Andre Fedosov fighting out of Shua, Russia. He is 31 and three with 25 knockouts. The last time he fought was October of 2018 when he beat Joey Dwayko by a unanimous decision. Could be an ode to Arturo Gatti, who was also the ring walk of uh, Thunderstruck. And his opponent ready to make his way to the ring for the first time as a professional. From Baku, Azerbaijan, undefeated, Mohamed Rasul Majidan. This is a bad, bad man. Coming off a third round knockout over Shrat Delgado, a man he absolutely dominated. And then after he won, he helped put him on his stool. So he's got the compassion the sportsmanship after the fight. But during the fight, you don't want to be anywhere near the man nicknamed MAGA. It's the ultimate competitor. That's what sport's all about. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go. 10 rounds of action this scheduled in the heavyweight division. This bout is presented by Eddie Hearns for Metroom Boxing in association with Banner Promotions and Newsboy Boxing. The three judges scoring at ringside, Fernando Barbosa, Michael Ross, and Michael Tate. And when the action begins inside the ring, your referee in charge, Samuel Burgos. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue trunks trimmed in white. He weighed in officially 224 and one half pounds. In 34 professional fights, his record stands at 31 victories, including 25 knockouts, just three defeats, Fighting out of Shulia, Russia, here is Andre Fedosa. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks. He weighed in officially 232 pounds even. In 2012, he captured Olympic bronze. He's a three-time amateur, super heavyweight world champion, and now as a professional in three fights, three victories, all three wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the undefeated heavyweight from Baku, Azerbaijan, Mohamed Rasul Majidov. Chief Seger, Chief Seger, come on in. All right, gentlemen, we get the instructions in the back. Obey my command and protect yourself at all times, okay? Any questions? Touch them up, come out of the bell. Judge? What kind of fight do you expect here between these heavyweights, Chris? Well, both men kind of fight the same. They come forward, they bang. They're big boys. They insert their will and their power. So I expect not a lot of boxing. Usually you say it's youth versus experience, but this time it's... Old versus experienced. <laughs> Both guys in their mid-30s. Here we go, scheduled for 10 rounds. Fedosov, the underdog in the blue trunks. Maga in the black. Both men have heavy hands, so look, look out for some thunder coming from both sides of the ring. I was fortunate enough to call Fedosov back on ESPN. We won the Boxino tournament. So he's been around as fought and won some pretty pretty big 
contest, although he did lose to Bryant Jennings many moons ago. Also lost in 2010 to Lance Whitaker and to Alexander Milikeo back in 2004. Majidov's jab wow. is, <laughs> is long and strong. He is using that 80-inch reach perfectly right now. Wow. Another no. snapping jab, and that's going to be the key. You can already tell. Yeah. I, whoa, whoa, and a big whoa. right hand. Fedosov just dropped him. Majidov is down. My word. Six, seven, <gasps> Ooh, I think he might have injured his leg on the way down. What a stunner. Majidov, an 18 to 1 favorite. Here comes Fedosov. Sends him down for a second time. A leg injury. He's not even trying to get up. Andre Fedosov, fighting for the first time in nearly three years, is back in a big way. Huge upset. Huge upset. We spoke at the top about the line in this. Wow. Unbelievable. That's why we will tune in for the heavyweight division. All it takes is one shot. I said both men have power. Anything could happen, and there you have it. Fedosov, if I told you before this fight started, Chris, there would be a knockout in the first round, how much money would you put on Majidov to be the guy that won? Uh, I wish I did. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> no, you wish, no, you wish you'd have bet on Fedosov. Uh, you Fedosov, everyone yeah. would have thought uh, it was Majidov. Now, granted, this could be a bad leg injury. We'll look at it. But yeah. the punches that landed and that sent him down, those were no joke. No, no. It was, a, it was a beautifully timed right hand over the jab of Majidov that landed square in the chin and put him down. He fell awkwardly on that on that that left that right leg. And those of you that took a flyer on Andre Fedosov at what about? Plus 800, I believe it was. Congratulations. During the walkouts, Chris, I asked you specifically, 18 to 1, doesn't that seem insane to you? Look at this right hand, right on the button. Listen. Oh, big man goes. Oh, oh, and you can see the right you ankle. Saw the ankle. Oh. oh. So beautiful one, two. Right there, in perfect. One. Put the two right behind. Ah, that ankle was turned all the way around. And this is, uh, I believe, after the first knock, and you see him hobbling hard on that. Leans to that side. Yeah. Yeah, punch really didn't even land the second no. time. The leg was gone. Oh, yeah, that ankle is, is, oh. is flopping. Wow. Oof. Hey, credit, credit to Majidov for even getting up and attempting to fight, considering how bad that leg injury appears to be. But all credit to Fedosov, who many had written off. Way to come back from a two-year layoff. And you know, Andre was actually meant to fight Alexander Usyk in Usyk's heavyweight debut. The fight didn't go through, though, for some reason. Can you imagine if it was Fedosov versus Usyk and he landed that right hand? I mean, one thing about Fedosov, he does have power. He's a physically strong guy. And you had mentioned the age of these men. At the heavyweight division, it doesn't matter as much. You don't. You can see older fighters still become champions. Here we're gonna see a perfect oh. one-two right down, and then yeah, heavy man, big guy falling. In the, oh boy! Wow. And you know he's not with us here today for this broadcast, but Sergio Mora had a similar leg injury when he fought Daniel Jacobs in their first fight. Yep. One thing, when you get hit and you lose that, that consciousness for a second, you lose body control, yeah. you don't know how you're going to fall. And with heavyweights, it's that much more dangerous because you've got so much weight falling down on a limb, just like we just saw. So hopefully Majidov can get healthy soon and return to the ring. Maybe it's just a severe sprain and, and not a broken ankle. But either way, he's going to be out for a while. But Fedosov hardly broke a sweat, Chris. What does the heavyweight division look like for him right now? You would think he'd have a pretty big fight on the horizon after that performance. I mean, I think he's going to have to show more than just that. You know, a lot of people are going to write this off as always an injury. He was getting thoroughly out jabbed early in the round. Um, but yeah, I, I think he deserves a big fight and, and some, uh, you know, a nice payday after this. But I don't think he shoots right up the rankings like that. Well, he's coming off a 30 month layoff with Fedosov. 
This is the longest of his 17-year career, and apparently that rest and relaxation did him well. Fedosov moved to the United States from Russia and now lives in Hollywood, California. Fought his first 19 fights in Europe, his next 14 fights in the United States. His most recent fight was his first fight outside of the United States since 2008. As Majidov gets set to lay on that stretcher and get carted out of here. You were being very optimistic, saying that that might be sprained. I don't think so, Todd. I don't. I don't have X-ray vision, but that looked uh, that looked pretty severe. That's like that looks like a catastrophic ankle injury to me. Uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing some uh, some X-rays in the in the near future. And I appreciate a fighter like like Fedosov who is. Uh, He's not overly celebrating the victory, even though it's probably the biggest win of his career. He's, he's, oh, you can see the ankle bone of Majidov sticking out. But as I was saying, uh, Fedosov, he, he's not overly celebrating. You know, he's happy he won the fight, but, you know, he has an injured man in front of him getting carted out. We all, we all know as fighters that it easily could be you on the other side, so it's important to, to be respectful. Have you dealt with ankle injuries in your career? I hurt my knee actually uh, in the in the uh, Errol Spence Jr. fight on one of the knockdowns. Same thing. Got hit with a shot, uh, lost control for a second, went down awkwardly on my knee. Had surgery a couple days later. Well, you look fit, fit and trim right now. I'm sure people watching at home right now would love to hear about what's next in your career. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But now let's send it in to Joe Martinez, who makes it official, this stunning result in the heavyweight division. So Andre Fedosov improves to 32 and three with 26 knockouts. 35 years old, not much time to waste, but with a performance like that, granted with his opponent getting injured, but the knockdown was no joke. 